The Circuit presents Construction Operations All performed by robots Economists credit 20th century infrastructure investment with post-World War II growth. But fast forward to today, and poor infrastructure costs U.S. families $2,700 annually. And before Congress passed bills like the Inflation Reduction Act in 2022, that burden was increased to $3,300 annually, according to an ASCE study. This week, we're exploring how engineers are leveraging technology to tackle infrastructure challenges in part one of our double feature this week. The United Nations states that economic growth, social development, and climate action are heavily dependent on investments in infrastructure like tunnels. However, building underground is risky, expensive, and takes many years. Construction tech company HyperTunnel, which was founded with a bold vision to revolutionize the way tunnels are built, is now deploying a swarm of robots, all roughly three meters long, to solve this problem. To put that into perspective, the bots are the size of some surfboards or a female cougar, and they all build tunnels more than 10 times faster and at half the cost of traditional methods. Before the swarm bot's mission begins, holes are first drilled in the target area. A central index pipe is installed and pipes are added to define the geography of the structure by forming a grid. Survey bots are then deployed to provide data to HyperTunnel's digital twin, creating a blueprint of the underground environment. Now, Next, Hyper Tunnel's assembly line mass produces the swarm bots for their mission at hand. Then the swarm bots are deployed into the grid in the hundreds or even thousands. The swarm bots can communicate with each other, executing tasks with extreme precision, like drilling access points along the length of the pipe. These access points are used to inject a fluid into the ground, which hardens, making portions of the tunnel lining. The swarm bots use robotic cutting arms to carve chambers, then administer more fluid fluid to create a continuous structure. And finally, the unwanted material is disrupted and removed by HyperTunnel's autonomous trucks. Now the tunnel is ready for a brand new road to be built inside. But as of this summer, HyperTunnel's financial future is in jeopardy because of millions of dollars of debt. But financial issues or not, they're already pioneers having unveiled the world's first entirely robot constructed underground structure back in 2022 built at its R&D facility in the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, a smaller, deadlier bot is on a killer mission in the second half of this week's double feature. This year, the American Cancer Society has projected that 611,000 people will die of cancer in the United States alone. Traditional cancer treatment consisting of chemotherapy kills cancer cells but can be dangerous for the body, causing now, in a major breakthrough, researchers at Sweden's Karolinska Institute have unveiled nanorobots capable of zeroing in on and destroying cancer cells. These powerful mini robots are anywhere from 0.5 to 3 microns. That's the size of a piece of cornstarch or the thickness of a spider web. These nanorobots are built using DNA origami, a method of folding DNA molecules into nanoscale shapes. These tiny robots have a weapon of peptides shaped like a hexagon hidden inside. They only reveal this weapon in acidic environments like those surrounding tumors. At a normal pH of 7.4, the peptides remain concealed, but as soon as the pH drops to 6.5 near cancer cells, the nanorobots sense the pH difference, activating the weapon, obliterating the tumor. This precision targeting allows nanorobots to kill cancer cells while sparing the healthy ones, unlike chemotherapy. In preclinical trials, the nanorobots were injected into mice with breast cancer tumors, and remarkably, tumor growth dropped by 70%. While HyperTunnel's recent lapse into debt administration illustrates the challenges new technology ventures face, 
Karolinska is promising advancements in nanorobots shines a hopeful light for the future of medicine. Yet both of these developments underscore the importance of innovation and collaboration in shaping the industries of tomorrow. And if you enjoyed this week's Grindhouse inspired episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. This is making me dizzy.